No Jumper, coolest podcast where we already in here. You sipping heavily now? She oh, okay, heavily. okay. Oh, they got oh. a new drop. Remo off the drink. Not today. Boy. Not today. Okay, Not good, today. Good, good. We don't need that. Yeah. Um. All right, Billy. Like back. Back in this. We had to run it back because you've been so in fire, the news. Man. I'm on fire, man. Boy, teed up, man. What's up with y'all? What's up? What's up? YouTube trending. Back to back. <laughs> you know? <laughs> not not. Not on accident, back to back. I ain't signing no label. You living the high life off that Screwly G stimulus pack? Man. <laughs> Everybody else trying to make some paper. Why am I, why I won't get no paper off these niggas? I don't say hey, my name. They, they say now, like, oh, this doesn't do anything for you or whatever. I didn't know about him. He drops a disc bar, objectively a disc bar or whatever. He says it's not a disc. All of a sudden, I'm a fan of his music. I got good music to listen to from you going at him. I'm going to be real with you. I skipped over the King Yellow diss tracks. <laughs> but then we also get to listen to, you know, uh, Q50 <laughs> hopping in it. Every, everybody hopping in it. Why you, dis- why you listen to Yellow shit? Bro, I mean, I'm not, I probably did listen to it, but it didn't make much of an impact on me. I'm going to be real. All right. But he's, he's like the weird fair. owl of, of, of drill rap. That, that's fair, I guess. I don't take it too serious. Yellow, you got to step it up. Yeah. yeah. got to step it up, bro. That's a music thing. Yeah, you know. It's all music. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Definitely. But... Um, if somebody was to say something about one of your dead homies in a song, like a reference in a song, you wouldn't take it to disrespect, bro? I mean, if that's his ops, then, like, you know, Draco died, and I, I, I'm cool with people that put Draco in raps, but that's like they had a real deal war. Yeah. So I don't really feel some type of way no, about no, it. No, no, no. But Screw G, like, totally outside of all that, so I can understand how you guys felt the way like, about you it. He's not even from Chicago, brother. Right. You feel me? He's in Indiana. You you you, you like an right, hour and a half away. Keep that down or something. Are we um? No, that's cool. Are we good? All right. Yeah, you feel me? Like he like an hour away. Yeah, but he said all right. So the first thing he had said he had made the duck reference, where he said the downtown shit, and then yeah. y'all got on the phone after that. Yeah, bro. Nigga called me, bro. Before any of the diss songs even came Before out. Before anything touched the internet, twin. Anything touched the internet, I can die right now. Like, I can, right here, I can die on this camera. Before anything touched the internet. Y'all know me, bro. I stay on my, y'all know me personally, bro. I stay in my own lane. I don't bother people let they say something to me. Yeah. You feel me? This shit happened. Um, No More Heroes put out the preview to the song. And it was just like the part when they were dissing yellow. Like, it was just yelling at Yelling from 73rd and 63rd. Yeah. You feel me? I do music, you feel me? You can't, you can't knock good music at all. You feel me? Y'all know I ain't never been no hater. You feel me? Like the nigga, the nigga got good music. I listen to. The nigga, you feel me? Like so when he dropped the little preview, sh- I call yellow on some trolling. Sh- you feel me? Like yellow from seventy third, not sixty third. Like playing with yellow. Yeah. And he like, how you know he ain't diss you? Nigga? Like, oh, bro, that nigga ain't diss me, bro. They would have put the whole thing. Because you really got on the phone with him and had like a real. But no, manly... he had a conversation too with him. Right. They both. Had, that's how I got my number from yellow. Oh, okay. Them nigga called me like three in the morning. He texted me. I'm who is this? He just screwed me. I'm bro, I ain't finna argue with you, bro. It's too it's too late for this. Shit. And he said, bro, I ain't finna argue. Pick up. I answer. We on Facetime. He damn, bro, what you doing? You smoking tink? I had made a post because he had dropped a little <coughs> trip, the little thriller video, or whatever thriller video. Yeah. And I had made a post like since it's not smoking duck. I mean, since makes something about duck, we smoking tink. You feel me? Mind you, I don't even know who the hell Tink is. You feel me? That's uh, someone from Indiana, one of right. his people. You feel me, brother? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have no problem with nobody in Indiana. You feel me? I, right. One of the guys, one of the FBG members, number 99, Lil Jeff, he's from Indiana. You feel me? Like, yeah. number 99, y'all do y'all homework. They're going to put it in the comments. You feel me on folks? Like, number, nine from, nine, number 99 from Indiana, so we should be out there all the time. So when a nigga called and he like, um, damn, that's what we doing. We smoking Tink, bro. I'm like, bro, you just said you gonna jump out and do a nigga like duck. Like, what? What we going with this? Like, make it make sense. Oh, it wasn't a diss, bro. It was just a reference. This and that. Screw the river. Like, all right, that's fine. But let me would have came out and said, oh, my homie died in my arm like Screwy brother on a song. It's gonna sound like a diss, right? For sure. It's gonna it's just gonna sound like a diss, nigga. Like, so you can't be mad about how someone. Took what you said because that's how you said it, bro. You didn't, you didn't say it no nice way. There's no way you can make that nice. There's no way you can make it a reference without being disrespectful, bro. It's just my opinion, and that's everybody around me's opinion. You feel me, bro? And he called, and we talked, and they like, guess what we doing? Like, no, nah, bro. Can you delete that shit, bro? You don't even know. You don't even know Ting. Um, bro, you don't know Duck. It wasn't no diss. 
Yeah. All right, we got so uh, understanding. I deleted my post. Like, deleted it. He took his shit down and all that. You feel me? Boom. Go about our days. The next two, three days later, I guess he get in his feelings, get to seeing his shit online. He get to making posts about us again, talking about me and Swag big for a song. Never in my life asked this man for a song. I can doubt right now. This nigga told me on the phone. I got the whole shit recorded, like, I swear to God, like, but I ain't on no police shit. shit. I ain't trying to drop no conversations on no shit like that. On Doug got the whole conversation recorded. He said, Bap, you know me. We supposed to do a song back then. You know me. Mario um, visuals and um, status update used to shoot videos for the nigga back then. Word. Before he was anybody, you feel me? Like, he like, I would have thought that you and Ruger would have reached out to me personally, bro, because y'all know me. I'm like, I don't fucking know you. Like, oh, we supposed to, we was talking back then. We supposed to do some shit. I don't know what happened. Woo, woo, bro. Get the f out of here, bro. Laugh it at that. A couple days later, the song dropped. The little snippet shit dropped. He hit up, um, he hit up, um, I think it was Ruga, I think. I think Yella said he hit Ruga up and told Ruga, like, yeah, I diss Yella. I diss Billy. Swag. I ain't diss you, though. Some, some weird shit. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't know what they got going on, but... Yellow, yellow, like, yeah, he said that, he said he dissed you too. He told Ruka that he dissed you too, you feel me? Mm. So that day, once I get the confirmation that dissed me, mind you, he called me four days ago. I got his number. So I text him, up, damn, you dissed me, Scud? The nigga sent me a question mark. I FaceTime him. When he get on FaceTime, it's murder. It's so fucking cooked, bro. Dumb ass little boy. Like, just dumb as hell, bro. Like, it's murder. He's cooked, bro. I'm talking to the nigga. What's up, bro? Like, damn, why you dissed me after we were just cool? Yeah. No, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. My people know says I went out like a bitch. <laughs> can't no grump. This nigga right here can't make me feel no type of way, twin. You can't make me feel no. You can't make now one of you niggas can take me out my character. Only I can do that myself, bro. How you let some get in your head and tell you that you went out like a bitch because you deleted this shit and because everybody apologized this and that. You let them treat you like a bitch. Bro. You got in your feelings and went to the studio and made this song. I would have looked at it as mature, especially for somebody his age. Exactly. It's kind of easy to be mature when you're your age or you my age. Me? For him being a young jit on the scene, it takes a little bit more humility to it take do, a step but, back. And, and this is what it was. As we having a conversation on the phone, and telling me in so many words, like, this is his first time going through that. Bro, everybody loved me, bro. As soon as I dropped this, this is my first time seeing hate. You feel mm -hmm. me? I've been going through this shit my whole life. That's you probably true, yeah. He Niggas, doesn't really know what it's like that much yet. You ain't, you ain't ready. You're not ready for this shit. You're soft as hell, bro. Like you're, you're searching for love right now, sir. Like you need someone to love you. Your mama don't love you. You, li you live in that basement, sir. We was on Facetime. We was on Facetime, sir. Your bed was in the basement. If it's a bed in the basement, that's your room. <laughs> if it's your house, you have a master room, right? I'm just saying, I got a master room. My room, my my bathroom. I mean, my bathroom in my room. That's all I'm saying. You feel me, like? I feel like he could easily afford an apartment. He, especially in fucking Indiana. That's what I'm that's saying. That's what I'm yeah, trying yeah. to figure out. Like, <laughs> what you got going on, twin? Like, right. But I ain't here to slander another black man, none of that, bro. It was just the nigga was on there doing all that extra shit, bro. And then he dropped the diss song. We on the phone. And I'm telling him, like, bro, you know I ain't yellow. I love you, yellow. You know I ain't yellow, bro. Like, you know I can rap for real, right? Like, <laughs> and you know, like, I will really get up with you for real, twin. Like, dead ass. Like, I'm, I'm on the West Coast. You supposed to, you ain't never, you probably never see niggas. You gonna see me. I live here. Right. Like, yeah. you gonna run to me on accident, on purpose. We gonna be in these same rooms, bro. Like, you got some money now, you gonna be in them rooms we in now. You feel me? Like, it's cool. But it, let us know what it is. We playing ball or is this a rap battle? You feel me? How you, you taking it? <laughs> yeah. I'm taking it as however niggas wanna play it. Y'all know me, I don't bite my tongue. I'm a grown man. You feel me? I just turned 32 the other day. I just, I just left Hawaii, came here. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I'm a grown man, bro. Like, so it's how I give, I, I re re recorporate energy that's given, bro. I ain't get on there and say f that man people for no reason. He got on there and started that shit. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't go to Indiana and record a video on some janky shit like that. No, I ain't do none of that. Why? Because. You said it's music. It was a reference to a song. Yeah. I like the twin.
Yeah, because I mean that that's like the best defense of like what he said with that duck line is like uh, what, what's that girl who had the line like you gonna you gonna be with Tupac when we come shoot up the studio nah. now that's like a thirty year old you reference. feel me that's a reference to some shit that happened then, back in the day you don't know any of Tupac's homies he's saying back it in the about day, it wasn't doing disrespectful shit like making it as disrespectful true, back then true. it was literally a metaphor back then yeah you, you feel me this day and age we live in now everything is to disrespect and hurt the next person you feel mm. me bro like it, that's just how it is bro like and there's no way around you can make it saying like nigga it was a metaphor because if i would have said like i said on that other song duck died with his gun in his hand your brother died in your arms if i would have said that on the song with the, without even dissing him he would have felt like i was talking about his people bro like you feel me like if, even if i would have said i'll just i'll just know that your people died in your arms bro and i'm just putting in a reference you feel me? Like, that shit, that's just how it work, bro. Like, you shouldn't dish out shit you can't take. Nah. That's how I look at it. Yeah, facts. It's like, if you have ops you have, and you want to not rap about them or not say anything disrespectful to them, it takes a lot of self-control. Yeah. Because when you're really in there in the moment and some shit pops into your head that, that would rhyme good and it's disrespectful as fuck and you know the fans are going to love it, that takes a lot of self-control to be like, nah, I'm going to keep trying to think of something else. It's literally, that's all it is. Like, um... The shit you posted earlier. Man, uh, the Trap City shit. Boom. What them niggas say on that shit? All right, so the Trap, all right, there's a vlog with On The Couch. Shout out On The Couch TV. Shout out On The Couch. That's my boy on phone now. Uh, so, Fitty Strong, and part for of the my record, family. I will pay $5 a month to be able to watch your videos without the squares edited out of them because it is so hard to watch that shit <laughs> with every single word edited out, and it drives me crazy i will give you five dollars a month make a patreon or a you members only you version please couch, put it together so that's know, a program. suggestion so look the whole trap city shit so you i guess after you did the song with screwly i mean after you did screwly or whatever mm. you had in the song you said that you got or you, you did a, uh you was probably on ig live you said that you just got off the phone with somebody over there from trap city now that's on the song it's on the song that's yeah. on the song all right yeah so they were saying they the, on the couch asked me he's like so uh billionaire asked if he was on the phone with one of y'all niggas and then they said, F no, I'll never do a song with Billionaire. He our original ops. They killed Chris. Whoa. Saw that. Whoa. That's he didn't say very, you. He said that's, they. That's very federal. Don't put me, we, them, and nothing with nobody getting killed. I'm an artist, number one. Number two, you know what you know. You feel me? Like, the world know what they know. Niggas know they has been getting built way before dude and them came over there. You feel me? Like, you feel me? But that ain't got nothing. I ain't here to talk about them at all. That come back to what you just said. Shit rhymes. You feel me? I don't know them niggas. Yeah. You feel me? I was ever on the phone with them niggas. So you was never, you was just on there using as a line. I'm popping it. I'm popping it. All you right. feel me? Like, I'm popping it. Like, I, I would never, just like how they feel, I feel the exact same way. I will never in my life be able to be friends with them niggas. Why? Because it's deeper shit that has been going on from years ago. You feel me? Like, this rap shit that y'all see between dude and them, that's, that's they brought. They gonna sign a broadcast that we had years ago. You feel me? Like, our shit was broadcasted with the other ops. They was our ops too when all that shit was going on. 2012 and all that shit, everybody was dying. Yeah. Like, they was in the midst of that shit. They just didn't have no rappers. They wasn't famous for they didn't shit. They have a you name because they was nobody. Like, they name getting out there. But who was Chris though? Because I, I ain't really never heard of him. Who Chris was, was cool. It's merch. It was cool. I knew Chris. Chris was cool. He was short. He was shorty. It's merch. He died yeah. on my little brother, baby mama porch. You feel me? Like, cause Mama Duck even responded to the post and said that she was there and seen Chris die or whatever. You feel so, me? Like, she said she denounced it and she said that. Uh, you feel me? Yeah. I don't know what niggas be saying, bro. They yeah. say what they want to say, but you feel me? Chris was cool. He was a, a, a good shorty. You feel me? Like normal shorty growing up in Chicago, trying to just get out. You feel me? Shit happens. I didn't know. Uh. Trap City and 63rd was that close. So how far is y'all block? Or y'all even walk? Y'all like That's walking like, distance. Right, like close as O block, literally. Yeah. Like they just up some more. It ain't. That shit ain't far at all, bro. So if yeah. Trap City beefs with the Bloodhounds, then that also helps explain why Q50 and them were happy to hop on the shit with Screwly going at. 63rd and you and all that. Bro, whatnot. no, I'm so confused about that, bro. Look, that's that's how that's how the part two of the song came. You heard? Like, because when I talked to Screw, you feel me? He hold it down. He never said, yeah, um, Q50 dissed you too. Mm. He never said that. He like, yeah, I dissed you. He told me what he said and everything. Like, 
Yeah. yeah, I told, I said I'm gonna slap the shit out of Billy. This and that. I said swag a party with Billy. I mean swag a party <laughs> with Diddy. Woo woo. So when y'all seen when he dropped, I dropped literally an hour later. Yeah, like back to back, right like, after. I literally dropped an hour later. Like I told him I was going to the studio. We sat on the phone for a whole hour and a half, bro. It got to the point that niggas so burnt the fuck out. I started preaching to the nigga, telling him like, bro, slow down, bro. Like, like be cool, bro. Like you got a, you got a life ahead of you, bro. Like. Be cool. Stop letting this get in your head. Like, you feel me? Like, you, you got some talent. You cool. Like, it got to that point where I started feeling bad for the little nigga. You feel me? Like, did you feel bro. like he was just like too into the let's go to war? No, nah, it ain't even that. Like, I can't even say that because he was saying the same thing. What? He, he ain't ducking no rack. You feel me? He's saying the same shit. I ain't ducking no rack, but we ain't into it. It's a rap battle. Then it could be a rap battle. But if it's that, then let us know it's that. And I'm telling us that the same thing, twin. And I go off your energy. Y'all started this shit. Y'all really going to. Dead it and let it know what's going on, or we can just finish it, just like that. Like, and I ain't ducking shit, and I'm back on ten and smirk. Up out of here. So, so what? Did, all right. So Q50, he ain't say what he said about you in the line. Q50 said something about my little brother. You feel me? He said something about my little brother on the song. I don't even know, like, cause I I cut it off after Screwly, cause I never listened to Q50. I listened to Jeff. You feel me? Like, I used to listen to Jeff. You feel me? Q50, the fucking the backup dancer, you feel me? His ass came out of nowhere. If his, your man's one dead, you wouldn't be nobody, you feel me? Well, he was like, rapping before all that. But, but who the, nobody knew the f he was like that. But like, he had to take that onto his shoulders. Now he got to represent for all of them. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> that was a f***ing goofy. You, was cool. you from Indiana. You're a creative player. He from Indiana, too? Bro, his ass from Miraville, Indiana, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. I ain't from them trenches for real. Shit. You hear me? Like, let's be serious, bro. Like, and I don't know what's up with niggas, bro, but niggas just insert they self into shit and just be on some weird shit, bro. He rhyme with his mans. That's your mans. Stand on 10, you feel me? I can't be mad. But then you you, you took it, because you said you was listening to Lil' Jeff, like you followed his music. So yeah, then you started just. Don't listen to Lil' Jeff. It's murk. We listen to that shit. So after that, you just said, fing, you just started dissing the whole, all the blood, huh? Because you just said something about my little brother. I'm, I'm a man, bro. Yeah. You swing on me, I'ma swing back. You shoot at me, I'ma shoot back. You throw a rock, I'ma throw a rock back. Mm. You're not gonna just do something to me here. Don't there's gonna be no retaliation behind it, bro. Not saying I'm the toughest nigga in the world, not saying I can't be touched, not saying none of that, not saying that I'm doing anything to nobody. It's just the fact that that's the world we live in, bro. You can't expect to do some shit and just be cool and nothing happen to you. And then when it do happen, niggas is lost. Like, oh, I don't know what to do. They dissing me. They they hate me now. This and that. They hate me, bro. They like, hate me. Everybody was just loving me. This is my first time seeing hate. Like, shut your bitch ass up, little boy. Before I take my belt off, you hear me? Mm. You was a kid, bro. You were a kid, bro. My daughter's 16. Yeah, I hopped on the phone ever since uh, you dropped part two. I right. called him. All right, so y'all y'all talked recently. I called him. No, I dropped, no, I dropped part one. I called him. Like when I drop part one, yeah. he, I ain't gonna lie, bitch, that shit fire, that shit crazy. You still got it, you still got it. I knew you was gonna be the only one to do it. Y'all don't want no shit, really, really, really. Can't nobody else keep up. I knew you was gonna be the one to do it. So why y'all fucking with me? Leave me alone, on folks. Like leave me alone. <coughs> I, I don't say nothing about nobody, bro. I mind my business, bro. On folks. So it sounds like it, it sounds like it don't gotta be taken to the extreme. It sounds like it could just be music. It can be whatever. I told the nigga. Yeah. You see me in Cali Twin? It's either gonna be this or this. Cause he posted you know I mean? on his story today with the geotag saying Los Angeles. Which was kind of surprising to us because we've been trying to get an interview with him and we got a date picked out, but it's in a couple weeks or whatever. Maybe we see each other today. You know? But he ain't coming here. So you know? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we might see each other today, you know? Yeah, well, hey, that's on you. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully, yeah, no. That would be all I was concerned about. Yeah, just don't do it here. Uh, but I like that. So, so if you're at the red light and you see him, you're gonna what? Pop out and shake his hand. How you doing, yeah. bud? Yeah. I'm shaking up, GD. What's wrong, gangster? <laughs> Else, what's wrong, gangster? I approve of that. Oh uh, yeah. So on his, he said, oh uh, yeah. So he was saying that you mad because you wanted the song with him because you he GD you GD. So y'all thought you was gonna be bro, GD together. That's what he was saying. I don't give a f about nobody being GD, bro. Yeah. Nigga, my, I got off this GD, nigga. Nah, for real. He said you had reached out for a song, so you oh, never. You heard? You You're ain't never reached out for a song. I ain't never put it out. Yeah, yeah, sort of if, if, if you know this shit, you know this. Niggas got receipts for everything. Yeah. Everything. Why you never showed that? Mm. Then I asked you for a song. Why you never showed that? 
on duck. I got the whole conversation recorded right now. I can die on duck, on jerk, on Richie Jerk, on everything I love, nigga. On every nigga on this chain, bro. I swear to God, bro. I got the whole conversation recorded, bro. Just because I know niggas do janky shit. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't going to do no janky shit. I ain't going to drop it. You feel me? I'm a, I can show y'all. For sure. I can show niggas. I ain't going to do it on camera. I don't know drink shit like that, but the nigga literally says out his mouth all the time, bro. He ain't on nothing. It's not a problem. It's cool. He ain't, he ain't saying he ducking shit. Uh, let's make that clear. He's not saying he's scared of nothing. You feel me? But this is what it is. But now even with the bloodhounds and shit, how they feel about it? Dude, I don't give no f I ain't talk to them. Yeah. Dude, ass rapping about all these eight hats you got, quote unquote, but them your man's hats. Get your goof ass out of here. Yeah, did you see the viral picture he posted? Yeah, he had Lil Jeff with the... No way a nigga is doing all that and putting it in music, bro. Like, be serious. But Jeff was. If, uh, that's Jeff. This is what I was going to get, but <laughs> that's why Jeff was here right now. But if you're willing to give Jeff all these hats, you're acting like Q50 is just making it all up? Bro, you rapping about your man's hats. They seem like they were spending a lot of time together. That's cool. That's I don't give a f <laughs> I don't give a f This shit got rules and regulations, sir. Yeah, I don't know. You know? I don't give a f what you know, mm. what you do. I just keep hearing about your ass getting popped all the time. Oh, my baby. They stay putting I'm just keep hearing about your ass getting popped every time. This is why he's Imagine, time. I don't know. I live on the West Coast. I don't know what niggas do. Mm. I'm going off what, what the internet say. And then, nah, <laughs> all right, if Q50 wants to get into shootouts, cool. Yo. But we got to protect Brandon Buckingham. That's crazy. Damn, you heard about this? He yeah, didn't get hit, man. but apparently his cameraman almost died. His cameraman, who I think was just a normalized white kid, got hit in the neck and almost died. Yeah, and man. it was because some op to Q50 was lurking and, and shot 60 times at him. Shout out my Risky Rose. Oh, oh, Paul, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my crazy. Risky. Shout out my boy Stro. Shout out my boy Pablo. So what's up? How, where, is Paul Risky, Paul where is Risky? Where is Risky Rose? Yeah, I know that, man. I, I, I don't even want to talk about that. That got nothing to do with yeah, me. You yeah, feel yeah. me? I'm just going to have folks in the I'm going to make sure that I, I plug out there with folks in them. You feel me? Get Who rap from over there, I'm going to give you everything when we get up off here. It's, uh, good, right, for sure. it's good. Yeah, they it's got a lot of notoriety, but yeah, it's good. we need to figure out who the king rapper is. I got you. I got you on trip. We're going to together. Damn. He crazy. just left too. His merch. He just oh, for left. Real? Like, he just left me. His merch. Nigga just yeah. left. Like, Bans? It just left. Oh, all right. He just left. You hear me? Yeah. Shout out my boy Bans, man. You know, I've been trying to hold this shit in. So, <laughs> but so, you know, man, yeah. So, why does Screwly G say that you be hanging with Mexicans? I do. But he was saying that, like, you only hang with Mexicans. I do. Why Why is that? I live in fucking Arizona. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not talking about that. I'm on the red by Mexicans. That's my me on them. I love them boys. They he, love me. He, he got some love on the Mexican pages out here and shit. Well, not love, but mostly hate. Yeah, yeah, that's like, shit. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, you know, you disrespecting the whole race, the whole culture, bro. You feel me? Mm. Them boys ain't got nothing to do with this shit. They love about for about. You feel me? How your homies still going to hear that? Oh, they, 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 they with all that. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Me on them with all that. You feel me? Like, me gonna know what all that. And that's why I be telling niggas, like, leave me alone, bro. Leave me the f alone, bro. Like, I ain't know nothing. Y'all with other people. Y'all bring niggas and shit that ain't got nothing to do with it. Mm. Mexicans that be around me that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, they probably don't even be in videos. They feel some type of way. You feel me? Like, niggas that don't even be in videos with me, they feel some type of way about that shit. Like, mm. Like, damn, you talking about, damn, you know that shit. They culture is strong on that shit. You feel me, bro? Like, right. I'm some real loyal people. I love them, for sure. That's my, my boy. Man. Definitely. Is it weird for you? Like, you know, your music always consistently does pretty solid numbers, but then all of a sudden you get into a beef and it's like 10 times as many views. Yeah, that's it. That's shit always weird, you know? Yeah, is that a strange feeling? It's like, like y'all love me, but you love me so much more when I'm really into some shit. Y'all y'all just want to see if I'm going to come out high like I always do. And niggas is nosy. And niggas love drama. Mm. You feel me? Like, I can drop a project that I put my all in. It's going to do 100,000 views. Yeah. I recorded them diss songs in 10 fucking minutes. <laughs> Dead ass. Re myself. Nobody recorded that shit. I recorded it myself. 10 mm. minutes. Went in the studio, smoked the wood, and was done. Literally. Shot the video the next day. Literally. I don't have a label behind me. I gotta remember this. We gotta let's let's put this shit on the table right now. I am not signed. 
I never been signed. You ain't never had a deal. Alone? I never had a deal a day in my life, brother. Damn, that's crazy. I thought you at least never a well, day in my life, twin. Why was that though? Because I know you got offered some before. It, man, the, the offers was back then, but it's like <laughs> the f why? Why would I sign for that? If you, if you know what you know, like, like we were just talking about that. I've been on the West Coast for a long time. I've been left Chicago. I've been hell in my way. Why would I sign for some bullshit that I can make independently? You feel me? Like, mm. that don't make sense. But as far as what's just going on right now, I just trend back to back, twin, in a month. Nigga, future drop, nigga. Online, twin. Future yeah, drop. Man. Pluto drop. He was trending over. Future. I was trending over Pluto, brother. You over, feel me? Over the other FVG. Over over the real FBG, you hear me? <laughs> How you gonna get in the real FBG? You hear me? He, he, they started this shit, you feel me? So it was they was FBG yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, y'all got your FBG from them? No, nah, we was Flyboy Gang, they free band gang. Because Future was still me? pretty small yeah, in like twenty ten or whatever. But you know, you know the streets, Future always had the streets, you feel me? So we always knew about Pluto so back then. Mm. On fold. I ain't got I have no deal, brother. I had no major producer. I had no major cameraman. I had no help. I did all this shit by myself. I came out of my pocket to pay for the the the, the fucking video warehouse. I came out of my pocket to make sure the cameraman was there. You feel me? Like, mm. boom. Yeah, they did it. They trended. They did a million views. My shit be at a million views probably this week. I probably got 900K. Mm -hmm. What's up with you, cool? <laughs> Hey. You know, I'm getting, choosing my weed. He's got some weed. He's got some Fanta oh, yeah, we got flavored some weed. Yeah. yeah, we got some shit, man. Got some whoops. You know, man. You got to put them on the whoops. No, man. We got some whoops, man. People can't yeah, see it. There's uh, a little box of whoops over here. Like I said, them niggas, it's, it's, it's two of, niggas, it's two niggas signed to a record label, bro. A box of whoops. That's a cheat code, number one. It's lock of film shooting a fucking video. One of the fucking biggest cameramen in Chicago. Shout out Locker. You feel me? Mm. No more heroes. It's shooting the, it's shooting the shit. Mm. It's shooting the video. Nigga, you can drop a video on no more heroes today. It's going to go up. Why? Because of that page. Yeah. You feel me? Like, that's what it is. You got Bloodhound Q50 helping you. He's signed to a label. By, by himself. And he's got some, he's got the brand new momentum of being a new artist attached to these other artists who blew up in that the past. You, know? you feel me? Yeah. You got that momentum. Then you got Cosigns, you got everybody else saying that shit. Ain't nobody, ain't no nigga. I, my shit came from the mud. The fans ran my shit up. He had rappers saying his diss song. Niggas that signed in the industry sharing that shit. You feel yeah. me? Probably didn't even know what the fuck they were sharing. Just sharing shit. Yeah. You feel me? So how you feel it like? Cause ain't uh Scrooge he signed the Bibby, right? I, I believe so. But y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. know that he supposed to help Duck get signed. Bibby was supposed to help Doug get signed. Yeah, type shit. What's really? the story behind that? Uh, I don't know too much about it. I just heard some shit. But D Doug did sign around that 2017, 2018 yeah, era. I heard some after shit. slide, yeah. I don't know how true it was, but yeah, oh, I yeah. heard some shit like that. So do you know. get offended when you see like Locker shoot the music video or it don't really nah, matter? No, hell no. That shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's his job. You feel me? And his artist or something. I think I think Q fifty is artist, ain't he? I think Q fifty with AML. Is he? He might I don't be know. I don't know. He managed him. AML yeah. Visual. Yeah. I thought he did. I thought he stopped managing him, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I know. No, nah, I don't feel some type of way. You feel me? Because that's a job. That's like me coming on here getting mad at you. Like what the f Well that's been known to happen. I Not with you, it. but <laughs> I did it. What you thought I about what you thought about him and Ruger's situation? I don't know. Why y'all ain't get it on? That shit was funny as hell. Why oh, you ain't go get that get that in, Al? Conversation wasn't going the way he wanted it yeah. to, so he decided he wanted to change the terms of the of the engagement, I guess. You knew he fing with him too though. Yeah. He he wants me to <laughs> treat him with a little bit more respect than maybe I was giving him in that moment. <laughs> I got a little bar for him on my next song. I'm going to see how he takes nah. it. You want to hear it? Yeah, I got to hear it. I'm going to check it out. Let's give him the preview. Let's give him the preview. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I ain't even heard it yet. I might have. We're getting it. Y'all going to get an exclusive, an exclusive on the Bout interview, man. You know, man. All right. This is me, Flocka, Trap Lord Ross, and Brick Baby. But I'm going to I'm Trap Lord Ross on the show. I heard I heard I'm going to just play my verse.
Okay. Bro, you wrote that shit? Yeah. Yo. You like that? Yeah, we got to do something. We got to do something. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got to do something. Re- he really writing it, too. I mean, I mean <laughs> he, uh, he really <laughs> writing it. No help. Mm. Yo, that shit was hard. Guess where I was earlier in the day when I thought of that? What the farmer's it? market. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to turn him to a rutabaga. What does that mean? I don't know. I had to look it up on my phone. What? <laughs> <laughs> like rutabaga. I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, yeah. That's a vegetable. <laughs> oh, you know what the fuck that is? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Yo, you got to hear the whole thing, though, because Flacco went crazy. Yo, Flacco about to take Skrilla's spot. It felt like, oh, um, Trap Lord Ross was just popping it. He's kind of going crazy, too. Yeah, yeah. he's like, popping it. But th- that's his line that, that's going to go crazy. Uh, long live Vaughn and Duck. Yep, I'm, I'm a, a Chicago, Chicago legend, legend, too. That's, that's going to be a Chicago wave post. That's is it. Trap Lord Ross a that's Chicago it. legend? That's it. That's it. Is, is Trap Lord Ross a Chicago legend? Shit. He's been putting, mm. put on more niggas from Chicago than niggas from Chicago already. <laughs> Without ever going Without there, he made quite an impact. Yeah. You feel me? Like, uh, niggas hate it. That's like niggas talk shit about you 24-7, but then come sit right here. You feel me? Like, mm. I don't get it. I, I got to go more. I don't get I it, bro. I have been there in four years or some shit. Yeah, man. Um, but, okay, where were we at? Where were we at? It's, I got, a, I, it's really a lot we could talk there's about. There's so like, much. It's, it's so much that didn't happen. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about, how you feel about, uh, Manny and, uh, Mama Duck going back and forth about, about the music catalog. That's a heartbreaking, bro. And she's suing. Uh, the suing shit, I ain't really got enough. That's between them, you feel me? Yeah. But the back and forth on the internet, bro, that shit heartbreaking because Manny, Manny was like my father, one of my father figures suing in my life, you feel me? Like, you feel me? I went around as much, but when he did come around, he was make sure I was great, just like he made sure everybody else was great, you feel me? And um, Sheena is Sheena, you feel me? So soon, she gonna go hard for anybody. That, that's anybody, mama, you feel me? They gonna feel some type of way, they gonna stand on it. Like, she real blunt, and she gonna always say what the f- on her mind, you feel me? That's just all how that's go. I just what? pray they get that shit together, you feel me? Yeah, did Manny ever manage you at one point? Nah, I never signed the contract. Everybody else was signed. But there was an option to sign with him at yeah, one I point. Had an option to sign, yeah. yeah. So who all was signed to Manny? Like everybody was. All, one, I know two, three. All right, Doug, yeah. Young, Dutchy, Wooski, Cash. All right. Everybody was except for me and Lil J. But where did Manny like get his background from? Where everybody's like, all right, this the move for us to sign him. Like he, he f- daddy. That's young. That's young and Cash um, pop. Nah, I know it's his dad, but yeah. I'm just saying like, cause you've been doing the music for yeah. I was doing it before them. Yeah, you yeah. Feel so me? like. What made them see, like, all right, he could he just, be. He just had the business. He got the business mind, you feel me? Like, he had always always had the business aspect of things, you feel me? We was young and dumb, just running the streets. You feel mm-hmm. me? So he always, like, try to Coaching line shit up trying to, us, uh, make sure yeah. the motherfuckers got their head on right, you feel me? Like, yeah, because that's one part of it where she's suing, supposedly, Manny, the label, Lil Dirt. Like, that yeah. she's trying to, you know what I'm saying? So how you feel about her? Or you think it's possible for, because, like, she's trying I to mean, sue Lil Dirt saying that they made money off the death of her son. And I mean, feel? I feel like it's possible because it's monetized. You feel me? So it's probably a chance. You feel me? I, I don't wish her nothing but the best. You feel me? Hope she do get what she's looking for. You feel me? Like, get a peace and justice. But at the end of the day, we we can't nobody speak on that until it happens and see what happens, bro. Like, my, my thing with Dirk is like, what did Dirk do? He really just mentioned him in a few songs. Yeah. Now, if they could prove that he in any way gave money to dudes from O Block, yeah, or we don't know to, all that. You feel me? Now we're talking. We don't know all that. But we don't know all that. And and to me, it seems but like we don't they know have what she know though. Right. We yeah. don't know what she know. That's what I'm saying. Like y'all got everybody got to be transparent and 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 realize there's always two sides to a story. Like it, it's believe me, it's a reason she going that hard. She got enough shit that we don't know. You mm-hmm. feel me, brother? Like she be going all the way that hard. You feel me, bro? Like so at the end of the day, bro. Sheena, Sheena, I love that lady. You yeah. feel me? She she tell me to come up on the way. You feel me? That's folks' mama. She was like my mama. We slept on her couch. We slept on her floor. The whole hood was at her house. Um, All right. Bro. So if that goes through, that changes the game forever, though, right? Because then now, because like everybody. Cause think about all the the diss songs where everybody been monetizing and dissing each other. Yeah. So can't, can't the flip side of it? Can't niggas sue y'all? Shit. I didn't even think about it like that. If it worked. That's like this groundbreaking shit. I ain't never seen this. Yeah. Before. 
The thing about it is that most people think about that. in the drill Chicago wars are basically what they call lawsuit proof, uh-huh. a.k.a. they don't really have enough money to sue them. Dirk is obviously a big fucking exception to that. And so it's like you're exposed, you're at risk if you are the type of person who has all these millions of dollars in the bank. So the label's at risk, Dirk's at risk, but basically nobody else is at risk. So that's kind of like the danger now, apparently, of becoming that popular in that game is that now you're a a potential target for lawsuits and shit. Now, that being said, everybody in Chicago and everybody in the drill world in general has been very, very reckless. And I know a lot of dudes from labels who are Mm -hmm. like, you know, dudes in their 40s and 50s who sign dudes who basically are fucking killers like nonstop yeah. all the time. And I've always looked at that and thought, this is kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird that you guys are in a rush to hi- to sign these dudes from the Bronx that to me it's obvious are like actually sliding. Yeah. I mean, some people really want real. You feel me? This shit's so fake. It's mm-hmm. so it's so washed up. It's so it's so fucking scripted bro like it's it's still it's still a certain people out here that just need just won't reel around like uh, i don't know you feel me even though they know there's a chance that nigga finna get his ass locked up his ass probably finna be dead you feel me mm. but they still getting paid they getting paid off the death you feel me like this shit, this shit you feel me no disrespect we're in a white man's world mm. you feel me dead ass like that's what's going on they know what the f- they doing they parents signing them shorties his ass will be dead by next year, and we're going to get paid off of everything his ass doing. Everything that he dropped finna go up. Everything that we got, we finna drop, we finna get paid. Man. That's the game, bro. That's life. Life is a finesse, bro. Like, I, I hate, though, hearing people say, like, they want you to die. You're way more valuable to a label if you're alive, but they do have it set up so that if you die, yeah. there's still they probably already yeah. made their money back saying, ten times saying, over. Yeah, they, actually, they, they, they necessarily saying they want to die, but... Like you're saying, they prepare for that shit. Yeah, it's not you the end of the world like, for them. Their business yeah. will be just fine if, if a bunch of these dudes die this year. Yeah, for sure. So with that being said, stop being a crash out. Nigga, is that stupid? Is that simple? It's simple, nigga. Y'all see what's going on. These stories are getting their ass left, left and right. Like even like, all right, so Q50... With Lil 50, I think that's how you say his name. The little Troy that just that died. Just, that's uh, sad, after, bro. Like he did the DJU interview, and then the sad, next day he was bro. dead. Like, how do you, how do you. That's sad, bro. He was 15, bro. And then you see his sister, who was like 18, talking yeah, about it, like, and you realize that she had to raise him for most of his life. And crazy. listening, like, reading this statement sad, from like an 18 year old girl talking about how all the sacrifices she made and how hard it was to keep him away from the streets and how he still yeah, got wrapped bro. up in it, you really get a picture of just how shitty this situation is. And, and I'm, I was there, you feel me? I was in his shoes, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I was a 16-year-old little boy in Chicago with a big-ass gun on me, you feel me? Like, doing probably 10 times worse shit he, doing, he was doing, you feel me, brother? And that shit, it's kind of, like, hard, bro. Like, you got to really get out of there. Like, there's no way. There's no way around that shit. There's no way to move an hour away from the city. No, you have to get the f- out of there. Ain't no moving to Madison. Ain't no moving to f- in Milwaukee. Ain't none. Of, you have to get the f- on. Like you feel me? Like it, that shit be too close to home, bro. And in Chicago, I've been like that, and it's getting worse and worse. So I right, so like so all his little homies and stuff that you know what I'm saying. You know it be retaliations and all that shit. Yeah. What's the advice? Like, of course, we don't want them to retaliate, but what's the advice? Like, you said you got to move Ooh. out, but what if they can't afford to move out? You crazy as hell. Y'all get y'all get back. What you talking about? I don't get This the right. See, I can't, I can't, I can't sit so here. So you're encouraging to give back. I can't sit here and tell them to don't go do nothing because now I'm telling them to put their guard down, brother. I can't tell them to go put a gun down and don't, and don't do that, and don't do this, bro, because now they out here loafing now, bro. Like, this Chicago, bro, it's not that simple, bro. Like. I can't, I can't, I, like I said, I, I say this shit every time I come on here, bro. I can literally say I have no problem with no one right now. Yeah. And just because I say that don't mean they feel like that. Mm. I can get on that bitch and apologize a million times. Turn to Jay Hood from O Block. I can turn to him. I can flip to a whole fucking preacher. You feel me, bro? And niggas will still try to harm me, bro. You feel me? 
that's telling them to put their guard down, bro. That's why I'm saying, no, nah, I won't, I won't, I will not, I will not tell them. I, yeah, go, y'all better keep that bitch on y'all, and y'all better be prepared, stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. This Chicago, only way you gonna get out that shit is leave. And, and I literally, I really thought about that when uh, remember the the clip came out of Fonzo and all them with the guns in the in the school and like, my shorty on all the these kids, they all got these crazy ass <laughs> guns, and I'm looking at it on Twitter. And I'm seeing people talking about this clip, people who are outside of the drill shit, the Chicago shit, and they're talking about them like, look at these piece of kids raising hell in their own hood or whatever, you know, coming through, having all these guns or whatever. And I'm like, that is survival to them. Nigga, that's how we got to live. That's how they're going to make it through the day. And Nigga, I know it's crazy don't... seeing a 16-year-old kid with a machine gun and thinking like, that's how he's going to make it through the day. But no, nah, like, that dude, even if he just had a regular old Glock on him, Nigga, that's his protection. That's he, his life. He's a sitting duck compared to what all these other people got. But that's still his life. If you ain't got nothing, that's your life. This this shit that we signed up for is no way out. It's no it's no way out until you did, bro. Don't let no nigga lie to you and tell you, oh, yeah, you can get blessed out. You can get blessed in, blessed out, this and that, bro. Get y'all goofy dumbass out of here, bro. Your ass will get spanked. J. Main, I don't know how he doing this shit. <laughs> I don't know how he's doing this shit. Like, dead ass. Like, you feel me? Just because doing them feel, saying that it's good, that don't mean them niggas in them projects over there feel that way. Yeah. You seen the video of them stomping the box out of the whoops and shit over there. You feel me? They stomped the whole box out over there. It was the Bloodhounds who did it, right? No, I'm talking about the O Block. Oh, yeah. Well, that, was like, that was like last year or some shit. They yeah, stumped no, the box of whoops out over there. You feel and me? And that's like, with J-Main being like the biggest public face of Push and Peace. J-Main is BD. He's been on a multi-year campaign. J-Main is BD. What'd that mean, though? So you're saying that's the only reason why he can do it? J-Main is BD. J-Main grew up with them. J-Main grew up in a Calumet building. Love that boy. You feel me? I love Jay Man and Duff, you feel me? That nigga know my mama. You feel me? Like, love that boy, you feel me? At the end of the day, he still BD. At the end of the day, he still one of them. He still one of them. It's not swag up there, bro. F me, bro. F me. Put John up there. You feel me? Duck, duck dead. You feel me? That that was the closest that that would have did it all right there, and him bringing Duck out, nigga. You know how big that would have been, nigga. Mm. That's like me on the stage with Sosa. But you're saying that if if J Man was a GD, Dirk wouldn't have brought him on stage. I ain't, nah, I'm not necessarily I'm not necessarily saying that either, cause I ain't gonna sit here, cause. The nigga, the nigga trying to do good. You feel me? I ain't gonna go here and talk bad about the nigga. We all growing up. Mm -hmm. Everybody growing up. You feel me? He's trying to do good. You feel me? I just feel like they're more comfortable with him because he's BD. Mm. Yeah, I do feel like that. For sure. Do you? Uh, so, do you think Dirk is sincere when he is making this change in his life and doing stuff like showing all these uh, faces I mean, of people who you, passed? When you in that Muslim, when you convert over to the um, Islam and all that, like no brother can do wrong in another brother's eye. You feel me? So it's like that come back with. Age and then growing and maturing, you feel me? So, <clears throat> me, me personally, and I'm gonna sound stubborn as f I don't know how to take it. I don't know, like you feel me? I don't know how to take it because there has been times in the past where Dirk said he was gonna stop mentioning an ops and then he mentioned them on me? the next like, project. You know, I I, pre I I saluted the nigga. You see, I made a post about it. Like mm -hmm. I saluted it. I said speeches. I I shared it and everything. All I said was speeches. Like, I literally had no words. Like, yeah. couldn't type shit. You feel me? Like, and like I said, I don't know. We got to gotta see within time. You got to, you got to, J-Main is, J-Main is forcing that shit. You feel me? He forced himself into that shit. J-Main, the power of the tongue is real, brother. You hear me? Mm. J Main had OTF draw on his face. J Main had fake <laughs> yeah. dreads in his head like he was King Von. Yeah. J Main had bought an OTF chain, uh, old o block chain, an OTF chain off of Amazon, Target, whatever the fuck he got it from. You heard, like, we had parts of all this. 
I, I, all them, remember that shit was going on? We had fake getting into it, everybody. Yeah, all that shit scripted. That's why I say this shit is scripted, bro. Like, all that shit is scripted. That's why Yellow feels some type of way towards J Man. Yellow was there. Like, Yellow was literally. All them fake arguments, all that shit. We on the getting into it. All of them live. All that shit scripted. Yeah, go live with us. Yeah. I'm gonna go live with y'all later on. Let's do this. But look. Let's put this out here, and niggas can take it how they want to take it. I just want J-Man to don't do what Dex did. Don't do what Dex did. You feel me? Don't go over there and just, because I go to J-Man telling right now, I, you don't see nobody. When the last time you seen one of us on there? Shit, I seen Young on there not that long ago. What, six months ago? Let me go look. So you're saying, and I ain't talking bad. I ain't talking bad. On, I ain't trying to talk bad on them. Ain't none. I'm saying is, you got to keep us in the mix with them niggas. You have a right. platform now. It' supposed to be one of them niggas interviews, one of our interviews, nigga. You promote some of their shit. You promote some of our shit, nigga. You go to J Main pages, all the dirt. You are saying don't like push peace, but don't say you're pushing peace and then use it as an excuse. To just go kick it with the cool kids in the eyes of the fans or whatever. My brother, you put it in a, the nicest way I can say it. Mm, interesting. You put it in the nicest way I can say it, brother. Mm. Just like that. I just looked at his channel right now. All right, he did the Duty Low one drop yesterday. And then today, two hours ago, he just dropped 63rd with OG Manny. And that's, is that young father? The same man? Nah. It's Manny, a Manny, one of the big guys from the block. So he is keeping 63rd in the mix. That's cool. <coughs> but Manny is not a rapper. That, that dude right there, that's just one of the big guys. Like, that's a, one of the OGs from the hood. You feel me? Like, yeah. he been there. He can, he can speak on a lot of shit because he done seen a lot of shit. You feel me? Like, I'm saying you got to keep the niggas that's out here in the mix, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel me? Like, keep everybody in the mix, bro. Like, like you said, don't don't make that push and peace shit. Just go kick it with niggas and then say, fuck your homies. You feel me, bro? Like, that's all I'm saying. I don't fuck. Interesting, interesting. Um, okay, so that that's the the Dirk concert thing. I guess we could ask about this. How do you feel about? Uh, at one point, it was discussed that uh, Dirk was going to bring out J Main, DJ U, and Sixteen Shot Him, and then according to Sixteen Shot Him, two weeks before the concert, Dirk stopped responding to him, left him on red, did not invite him through, and. I heard from a source who was kind of close to it that from their perspective, 16 shot him is not pushing peace. So <laughs> he he's ain't not, peace? I guess not. He's not fitting what they're looking to push. Oh, 16, you better tighten up, twin. They said, they said you ain't pushing peace enough. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing to promote beef or whatever. He did make a song about us. Yeah, he got, he but, dropped. I don't, I, don't know why, me on the song. I don't know why Dirk would give a f about that. That doesn't seem yeah, like the reason. He shouted me on the song and said, I ain't trying to kick it with niggas. I ain't got no legs. I ain't Billy or some shit. <laughs> like, Maybe I would say because he did DJ U in there on the song too. And then, oh, he did DJ okay. U? And I think 16 posted where he, he bought DJ U domain name or something. Oh, yeah, oh, I seen Lord. that. So maybe it's like, I don't know. Because DJ U was at the concert. Yeah. That's some DJ Wars. He brought him out on stage wars. and everything, yeah. Podcast Wars. I don't know. Yeah, it's wild. That's crazy. Damn. Everybody but got beef. It's crazy. Maybe DJ, you got so much sway with Dirk that he was able to make that call. You no, know, like, he was Von nah, DJ. Don't bring him through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was Von DJ. You feel me? DJ, you a good nigga, though. So I, 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 won't, I won't sit here and put that on his name and say that he did some shit like that. You feel me? That's probably what it was. They say he won't push some peace enough. That's probably mm -hmm. what it was. Actually, what it was. Because DJ, you a good nigga. Like, I, I ain't never had no problem. Like, I, I never had a problem with you. It's always good business. It's always respectful every time. Like I ask him some shit that I don't like, he makes sure he fixed it. You feel me? Like yeah. it's cool. Like every time. Like so, I don't think he'll do no janky shit like that. You feel me? Yeah, I think sixteen got to pull up to the mosque and uh, start start Stop contributing. Playing. Yeah, man. Chop that YouTube check in half. Give give half of it to the community. Yeah, man. Maybe, maybe we'll let you on stage with the next one. Yeah, me and the rest man. of OTF. It's about me. <laughs> <laughs> shout out 16. Shout out my boy 16. He called shout me yesterday him. too. That That's my dog. What do you say? He cool. He just he after the no jumper show. Yeah. Up. Oh. He hit me. He just okay. chopped it. Probably talk about that later. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh. So it's a viral video with uh you know Shamar the dude who be doing the twenty v ones. Yeah. He ran into some niggas in Chicago. I think some seven five seven niggas. Yeah. They said they was on the way to do a drill and they ran into that nigga. How you? you see we was viral? gonna kill your ass. I'm like, man, these kids are 
They crazy, crazy, bro. They bro. crazy for that. They're talking one. about yeah, it like it's crazy, going to the bro. to the park to play football for a little Post, bit. Like we about to kill you. They posted a um a button all type of shit. I'm um, damn y'all oh. tripping. Y'all recording buttons all type of shit. Yeah, they tripping, bro. Damn, That's crash out shit. Big time. That's crash out shit, bro. You know. How you feel about this year in Drew? Like I feel like this has been one of the craziest. This one. Years. This is one of them. This one. This is the rebirth. It is. Mm. It feel like that. This was the rebirth. Cause like a year or two Literally. ago, we were saying like, damn, Chicago, the drill, drill shit kind of slowed dead. down. Niggas everybody to downplay. You everybody really? got yeah. killed. Everybody locked up. Now shit's kind of boring. And then all of a sudden, yeah. you got a whole new generation yeah. of young kids and shit. But they ain't even really know. No, it's the same shits, just different names, bro. Yeah, different yeah. flows. Different, different names. Yeah. It's the same hood. Bloodhound in the um drill city, ain't it? You put me I on. I think so. I think Bloodhound drill city, ain't it? Well, folks, like they, they, or well, used to be with Drill City or something like that. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm full. damn. Is it is it disappointing to you as somebody who probably wanted the next generations to be better than what your generation was on? Nah, I knew it was gonna be worse. Come on, man. <laughs> they making fucking guns that shoot a hundred shots in one second, man. The guns are worse. The drugs are worse. Everything is worse. The music's more disrespectful. It's way worse. It's more demonic. Like, I, I, we started all that hollering shit. Like, you feel me? We started all that, 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 that yelling shit. Like, me and Duck, we started that demonic way, but then we started like, trying to get out of it with disrespectful shit. They just brought that shit right back. The beat's way darker. The lyrics is way worse. It's like... Niggas got more guns. Niggas got bigger guns. You know, we just had handguns with 30s and shit. These niggas got big ass drums. They got shits that got attachments on attachments. Everybody got a switch. Nah, they got some shits called incognitos out here on phone. What's that? Yeah, man. You don't even see that bitch. <laughs> that bitch just, you just hit that bitch. Fun up. So that's a new shit? I ain't even heard. Incognito. Incognito is crazy. An invisible gun? Yeah, these kids crazy with this shit, bro. Like, you can build a gun, nigga. You can buy a gun and build it. Oh, yeah? They got a lot of ghost guns out there now? That's crazy. I ain't been there, but I be seeing that shit on the internet all the time. Mm. Like, oh, uh, y'all know who y'all know who Money Man is? Yeah. yeah. Money Man, I f*** Money Man. Money Man build guns a lot, bro. Like, on really? his Instagram. That nigga got so many fucking guns, bro. <laughs> that nigga got some shit, bro. Ghost Glocks. He, he didn't want to see the incognito on his page. That nigga got a lot of shit, bro. <laughs> Crib Mac got locked up because of a ghost gun. Yeah, ain't no but serial it, number on that it shit. It was broken, so he got way less harsh. <laughs> it uh, was broken. Yeah, somebody sold him a broken gun. So <laughs> they bogus as hell. But he actually got lucky because they, they only gave him like a year or some shit when he could have got like 10 years. Damn. What, did they have no fire print in it? I don't know exactly, but they That's said that crazy. when they tried to test it, they couldn't get it to fire. Yeah, they had no fire print in it. Damn, they tried to, somebody tried to get it. That's not like a back door to me. Yeah, on that's fun. grimy. You see him with a gun that don't work? What? Sound like yeah, a back door to me, for sure. Yeah, Whoever sold that right. gun it was mm. on some janky shit. Yeah, no, for okay. sure. I'm Free crap, Mac. Come on, fuck now. Imagine great. you getting tossed that. Imagine that feeling? You getting oh, tossed no. that, and that bitch like, you trying to throw back. That bitch ain't getting off. <laughs> <laughs> how, how often do you think niggas is practicing shooting and shit? Like, oh, shit. Yeah. Um, if I was y'all, I would practice that shit every day. We live in Arizona. Niggas going to the range. So, you know, yeah. uh, I, don't got, I, I don't do shit. Folks don't go to the range and shit. Folks don't aim this like this. You feel me? Folks don't. Yeah, you know, you can go outside and shoot out there and shit. You just drive to the desert, pull up. You from Arizona? 50. Hell no. Nah. From Chicago? <laughs> oh, I said, who's the EG? Know what that is, man? Know what that is, uh, man? The gang, man. What's so? Extortion gang. Oh, okay. That's uh, that's a hard that's to read a, chain. Uh, I like yeah. it though. You know, man. Can't be fucked with, man. Shout you said all the names on my chain. What names you got on them? I got four of them on the back. Oh. You feel me, duck jerk? You be extorting people? I should put you with Wag 100. Man, yeah, you know. Trying to you. He trying to whoops. take your whoops right now. My he sex tapes are already public, so <laughs> this is all you can get out of me is the whoops. Whoa, dog. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. No good, Jake. Hey, Tweaking. That's what they try to extort you with normally. Whoa. TP. Wait, Wait, what? Jay gang is crazy. <laughs> TP, bro. What'd he say? <laughs> TP. It sounds like he said no little Jay gang or something. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, no, I don't have any of those. No. I'm not down bad enough to have to make those kind of tapes. Oh, shit. That'll be tough. <laughs> what do you think life's going to be like for Lil J when he gets out? Man, I, I hope it be good for my man. I hope he stay the f*** out of the way, you feel me? Like, and just get some money. Live life, you feel me? He been in jail his whole life. Get out of jail and just go right back. You feel me? He's like so much time. But I mean, all right. When he got out last time, he did a couple of say cheese interviews, and he was responding a little bit to people who've been calling him gay and shit. But it's like a thousand times more people who have been saying that shit about him, yeah. including most of the people that he was homies with. So it's kind of like, yeah. what's he gonna do? Just go around beating up people, shooting people who call him gay? That's like it's way know. too long a list. That's what that, you feel me like. That's that's demons he got to deal with and shit, man. You know, um, I don't try to slaughter. I don't try to slaughter folks' name because at the end of the day, he was still my homie. You feel me? Like, yeah. the end of the day, like we really been through real shit in real life. Like all that shit niggas be saying, and all that little gay shit. That shit funny. He would beat the shit out of you. He'll, he'll do that to you. You feel me? But mm. all I'm saying is. That's some shit he gonna have to deal with when he get home. You feel me? And there's them videos and shit out. You, you feel me? Try to fight you. Go right ahead. I think, yeah, I think he's gonna try. I think he's gonna try to fight you for sure. He definitely disused you as long as he come home. That's cool. He can rap about me, but I mean, I'm not. Listen, all right, he's still doing content with DJU. Yeah, DJU interviewed his trans lover. So like me, me calling him gay or whatever. That don't even scratch the surface compared to interviewing a. Trans I'm woman. I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at that folks just walked in. Yeah, Hurley walks in the room and just looks at us. <laughs> but you know, like, I mean, yeah. if you're still fucking with a person who platformed your alleged trans lover, yeah. then what the fuck are you going to do about me yeah, just you're saying right. you're gay or whatever? You know, I don't, I, I don't even know you. That's what I'm saying. Like, at the end of the day, it ain't even, it ain't even, he ain't got, he ain't got to, it ain't nothing to explain us. You got to, you got to talk about the dude coming, um, uh, on the platform. Yeah, um, the the trans yo the trans lady come on there and say that shit. You when was last me? time you talked to Lil J though? I I talked to Lil J. Um, damn, Swag birthday. Swag came to Arizona. Mm. Swag that came to Arizona. His merch. That was a crazy. He Facetime. He Facetime Lil J. I mean, I'm talking about Facetime. He calls Swag. We in a car. No, it's merch. His daddy FaceTime. They was had Lil J on a um, video call. Yeah. He was on FaceTime. Lil J was on FaceTime off a video call. You feel me? Like they got two phones like this, and they talking and shit. And he like, who you with? He like, I'm with Billy. I'm with you, on bitch. He f do it. I don't f with him. I just left it at that. But right. I ain't, yeah, I ain't. why he ain't f with you though? What was the last? I don't know, bro. Like. I'm not the only nigga that ain't said nothing bad about him. You feel me? Because I really ain't seen you say too much. Bro, I'm not the only nigga that don't get on this shit and talk about the nigga, bro. Like, because at the end of the day, bro, like, how that make me look, bro? Like, that nigga used to be around me still, bro. Like, whatever he got going on in jail, that was in jail. That shit wasn't going on around us in the world. You feel mm. me? Like, but I don't get on here and talk bad about him, bro. Like, you feel me? When he had got out of jail, like, the last time he got out, you I seen him? I was talking to him. Yeah, I was kicking him, right? I was talking, no, I never, I never kicked it with him. I but was just chopped it and shit, right? Bro, stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he making it crazy. See, all right, this is why gay men are not comfortable you coming see? out as gay. You see? Because oh, nigga like this, I'm being serious like right <laughs> that. You trying to have a real like, conversation. I'm trying to have a real dead conversation. This nigga is fine, bro. Like, no, I didn't see him, bro. Like, yeah, I was in Arizona, you feel thing. me? But I used to be on FaceTime with the nigga. I had dropped the O-Block chain shit. I was trending. He shared it on his YouTube, all that shit. You feel me? Like, we was talking to each other. It was like, I don't know. Like, so you don't know where happened. that came from. You feel me? I don't know. Like, I don't know if somebody, if My you thing think is, I said something about him or something, look, I don't know. If Big Mike can come out of jail after 10 years and say, hey, yeah, I told, but y'all pussy and y'all ain't going to do shit about it. Yeah, that And was he's crazy. good out here. <laughs> Why can't Lil J come out and say, yeah, I was fucking on a punk, a whole bunch of them. And I f with trans women, but y'all some bitches, and y'all ain't gonna do nothing about it. Cause I feel like if he said that, yeah, people are gonna have their jokes, but ultimately they're gonna accept. They're just it. gonna have to leave you know? it at that. But that that's like I said, that's some damage he got to deal with, bro. Like it's very progressive. It's, it's hard like, to imagine. It's like you coming out saying that you be fucking punks. And we'll be telling people that, but that you be fucking punks. I did come out and say, hey, I let this fucking linebacker bang my wife. Yeah. And was it a huge big deal for a while? Yeah, yes. But now we kind of do interviews and people don't even think about it that much. And that was kind of like unthinkable. Yeah. That like people would just move on past that. 
But people get used to shit. And yeah. now, granted, like being a gay gang member is some other it's shit. It's different. That, that's hard. Me, that's like, harder. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, I'm a I'm a white guy. I make fun of myself. I you, do goofy you, you ass shit. You do what you do. Like, you know. So it is different. But you feel yeah. me? Like he don't go around joking like a like like he's gay, bro. You feel me? Like he never came. <laughs> And he, he's really tough. Dude, Nobody, shut the fuck up my pussy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> up, bro. Nobody's ever taken it away. Up, bro. No matter who talks about Lil J, they always say, yeah, he might have done whatever. But he's hard as nails, and nobody plays with him. Bro, nobody ain't ever, you know? ain't ever seen nobody play with the man in my face. I swear to God. I done fucked the nigga a lot of times. We done had these. Mm. A lot of times. Like, you feel oh. me? Like, lumps and black eyes type shit. You feel me? Like, mm. we done got it on a lot of times with these right here. You feel me? Beat his ass a couple times. You feel me? He who done got, beat my ass a couple times. Who got the best hands in FBG? They be saying butter. I ain't gonna they, lie. They duck? Be saying, man, niggas want fucking with duck. Oh, word. I'm a dead brother. That man fucking six feet tall, bro. <laughs> man, y'all know he was net duck, did y'all? Nah. nah. On foes. That man was fucking bigger than yellow. Mm. On foes. That nigga, yeah. Damn, because Yellow's probably six five Yellow, or something. Yellow, big as hell, shit. you yeah. feel me? Like, they, he, it was three of them, him, Yellow, and Gooch. Like, mm. I was cool outside. <laughs> I was straight. Oh, this big, these niggas, this fucking tall. I'm straight. I don't even know fucking security. I got a little brody with me. He a headcracker. I'm gonna fold on. Shit, our video just dropped the butt again in the fight in jail. I don't know who it was with. I ain't see it. Let me see that shit. Yeah, I didn't see it either. It's a recent video or is it an old video? You know they be putting old shit up too. It's, it's some new shit. They be putting old shit up like, like it's new. Butter get crazy though. When folks butter get crazy. Let's see. I don't know who we fighting. Man, they need to zoom in on this shit. Not you, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Ooh. Wait a minute. Which one is butter? Yeah, it's hard to tell that. Right? Because they both got dreads. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's butter, butter right, right there. there. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> here, like, yeah they made it. All right, okay. Yeah. So butter right here at the stairs. The dude popped it off. I'm lost. Uh, they were like the same. Yeah, butter beat his ass. That's why they got to do that shit. TMZ does where they I still thought, shot. They put an is arrow. It, is it that says butter FBG on top butter. I, I, they saying butter one in the comments. Yeah, that's butter on top of beating them. I think. But I thought butter hand was broke. They said because there was a video and butter recently just went to jail. Yeah, crying, he was yeah. crying and shit. Yeah, but he, he's holding his arm like they this. Said, they said he broke, he, um, broke his um, wrist and like busted his head or some shit like that. I mean, if he was running. I broke my wrist, like had my shit fucking dangling there, and that is one of the worst feelings. And if you're fucking sitting in the interrogation room, they're not bringing you to the hospital and giving you pain pills and shit. Like yeah. I would be screaming just yeah, like he but was, that's bro. Anybody, bro. But you know, everybody gonna make fun because it's butter. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like that's what it is. Like, you know? Yeah. You on butter? Y'all not? Y'all not cool, is it? Butter, be... butter. It's like a love hate relationship. You feel me? Like. Like with everybody else, like everybody else going on here. Uh, I ain't gonna say that. Because at the end of the song, you said, even though niggas be having a whole bunch of shit to say, I still love y'all. You niggas. feel me? Yeah, you feel I feel me? Like it's like, that was a butter and Lil J. That's for everybody, you feel me? Like all them niggas really love me for real. Like I said, like I sat on the phone with the little nigga Screwy for an hour, bro. You feel me? Like, like really talking to him, like not even on those sitting here trying to boost, like really having, like trying to talk to him on some big bro type shit. Like, tighten up, little bro. Like, I told you it got to the point where I got talking to the nigga, like trying to preach to him, like, all right, bro, cause you just tweaking right now, like, but yeah, everybody hate about, but everybody love about, and they hate me on the internet. They see me in person, it's teeth and palms. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? That should be weird, bro. That should be weird. You ain't never really, uh, I think, what you, what you on little Schoon? You had said some shit about Schoon, too. I, that was just some shit. For, that was just from the, the this song? Yeah. Yeah. But then he know he said some slick shit about Duck, too. He's a goofy. Um, for, yeah, like, phone them, like, <laughs> like a lot of phone them, for. Goofy. I ain't like, even pee what he said, what he say? He did a DJU interview right before he died. Yeah. Oh, wow. And said some shit, like, um, it was about Fulio. Fulio had got killed. Yeah. He like, yeah, his ass a goofy, his ass. His ass died from doing all that trolling. His ass goofy like duck or some shit like that. He said some shit like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, in a DJU interview. Man, I didn't know you that. feel me? So, you feel me? Niggas always, and they be weird, bro, because these be kids, G, you feel me? Like, y'all don't even know us. Ain't nobody, who the f 
Because I'm 63rd. You feel me? Yeah, folks will still be out there. You feel me? There's still real members out there. You feel me? Young still be in the trenches. You feel me? Dutch, you know, still be in the trenches. They still shoot videos in the trenches. You feel me? But all you kids be dissing and saying all that weird shit. Y'all don't know us. Y'all ain't into it with nobody. How y'all, like, y'all just try to, try to ride a wave, bro. Like, that's that shit be weird, bro. Like, all that just picking sides, trying to just get, a, get in and get, get where you can fit in, bro. Y'all gonna get hurt because y'all is kids. It's like dead ass. Like, boy, I'm, se- I'm a season vet mm. i will take my belt off and beat one of y'all ass for real like boy what's wrong with y'all you feel me but that's just it just be mind-boggling because they always got something to say about us we always seem to come up bro like mm. i don't know why like you was ever around uh gyro city little mikey yeah, that's my dog I'm yeah, he be on 63rd. He, yeah, yeah, my study, it's like I'm a video where he had i guess some niggas had band butter from the block yeah that's my little uh, little fucking my ggs yeah, yeah marlo and um Lil g so niggas still be out there though. Yeah, that's my shirt. That's what I said. It's yeah, niggas. It's, it's the, niggas the, still. The, the trenches always the trenches. You feel yeah. me? Like don't ever get it f-ed up just because the rappers not there broadcasting. It don't mean shit ain't going on. You feel me? Like that's what I be saying. Niggas be thinking this shit chicken. We don't broadcast this shit, bro. Like we did that already. You but do you, do you look at Young as like the one dude from your side or whatever who is really committed to staying out there and ain't really like trying to move out ever? I mean, he a trench bag. That's what it is. That's what he love. You feel me? That shit, that's the mud. That's where you're comfortable at, you feel me? Yeah. Like, me, I grew out of that shit. You get to a certain point, like, nigga, the shit I, be, the shit I live in, nigga, when I go back home, nigga, I don't be want to go to no crib swim. Like, my shower look clean. I can see I can see the paint on my wall in the shower. <laughs> You talking about? You hear me? <laughs> Chicago, that shit is is bad, bro. Like, yeah. it's bad. Them houses old as hell. Yeah. You feel me? Like, them trenches is bad. Like, I grew out of that shit. I, why would I go back there and the goals to get the fuck away from it? I don't know exactly what kind of area you live in in Arizona, but I mean, Arizona's nice. Shit's spread yeah, I'm out. Turnt. I'm turnt. Fresh for sure. air. You feel me? Chilling. Like, yeah. That's, we cool. For that's just sure. kind of. If I had to make the choice Beautiful. between living in the middle of the madness in Chicago or living in a quiet ass suburban neighborhood in Arizona, for sure we staying in Arizona. Awesome, bro. Oh, like, come on. And it ain't quiet though. Don't get it wrong. Right. That bitch busting. There's a lot of shit going on. What? Um, y'all don't f with um what's the nigga that came to the documentary with us? The white boy. Tommy G's. You know what I'm talking about? Tommy yeah, G's? Tommy. I know Tommy. Tommy, shout out my boy. He came to Arizona this now. My Mexican people, it's merch. Check that shit out when y'all get a chance on him, folks. You feel me like, shout out my boy Gigi on Fulton. You feel me like, you feel me like we um they came down there and did some shit a little hood tour. You feel me like, he come down there all the time do shit like and they show the trenches like you feel me like that bitch really open. So these For messages screw G was talking about. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Hey, you was on uh, live with uh O five one uh what's my boy name uh, Driller. You was on live with Driller. Nah, that nigga called my. I got a podcast going on. I got some shit called like Next Caller. Yeah. And I um drop a number and my call in. And he called you feel in. Me? And the nigga called in. You feel me? He touched it. Like, and that said some slick shit. shit you weren't <laughs> expecting that. Like, he just randomly popped up. I knew it was going to happen. Oh, that, like, you, you know what's going on. It's the internet. Yeah. Like, I already knew what was going on. Like, when I do this shit, I'm knowing niggas finna be calling trolling. I'm knowing niggas finna be giving me flowers. I'm knowing niggas finna be showing respect. Some niggas finna be disrespectful. You feel me? Like, it's the internet. You feel me, bro? Like, mm. I don't know what I signed up for. That's why I dropped the number. I want to hear what y'all got to say. Yeah. Say it with y'all chest. Stop putting it in the comments. Let me hear it. How often you think niggas is talking to their ops, though, like nowadays? Because back in the day, niggas was doing that's it. Just still, that's just still, still often. Still going on? Yeah, that's just still often, for sure. Why for is sure. it, though? Why you think? Because it's like, it's to the point it's like where niggas. It's like a love-hate niggas... relationship y'all be having with each nah, other. No, it's to the point where niggas be tired, bro. Like, Explain that tired. I'm, like, I'm, I'm tired of running. I'm tired of hiding. I'm tired of doing all... Let's do it. Like, you get tired of looking for niggas. Where y'all at, nigga? What the f- you talking about? Like, let's do it. Like, get to that point for real, bro. Like, dead ass, bro. And it might sound like a crash out moment, but that's how it get in Chicago, bro. Like, on my dead brother, it get just like that. Like, nigga, I'm tired of looking for you. I'm tired of y'all saying y'all looking for me. Where you at? Here got my direct number. Yeah. Well, we can talk on Instagram. Drop the low. I'm finna be right here. Mm. You feel me? Uh, who you think uh not this year but just overall who you think dropped the most disrespectful uh diss songs that came out of uh the drill shit like the drill movement I, I ain't gonna lie man I, I just went crazy man 
I just went crazy back to back, bro. And it's yeah. fourth quarter. You feel me? So I'm trying to see, like, I was with Duel, but mm -hmm. you said Chicago, right? Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I who's on know. your city on the off side? They dropped the diss on you. It was like, damn. Like, they went crazy. I don't really listen to, like, ain't nobody really been dissing, like. Even from, like, back in the day, like, all, even the old shit that, that dropped. Old shit? Like, somebody said you lied. They went crazy on it, even though they was dissing. Let me see, man. What you say, T? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I can't even You can't it. vouch for none of the songs? Uh, everything was, everything was neck yeah. to neck back then, you feel me? Like. Yeah. It's just like right now. It's disrespectful. <clears throat> it's crazy. We drop. E they drop. We drop. You feel me? Sosa drop. Lil J drop. You feel me? Like that's how it's, it's the same way right now. You feel me? Like that shit just get worse. Doing them got some shit going on, but like I said, I just f everybody up, bro. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just f everybody up yeah. and trended in a week. I mean, in a month. You feel me? Back to back in a month, like. Mm. You feel me? How'd you feel about seeing Tay Savage running up on Trap Lil Ross? That's my dog. I just saw the Tay. It's an earth. I just saw the Tay. He's on the plane. He down. He, he texted me. Let me catch your bitch ass. No jump. I'm gonna bust your head. <laughs> uh, where you at? He just got on the plane. He was leaving. You feel me? Um, I like that. You feel me? Cause um, you feel me? We get to sit down and have a conversation. Mm. We get the right perspective. The internet get the wrong perspective. You feel me? Like. You don't know if this man genuine, if he meant any harm towards you, he was just documenting what he saw on the internet. You feel me? If there like, was a YouTuber, if I made a video about you and I said you had eight bodies and I like mapped out all the details of how these bodies might have gone down, do you now look at me as an op or do you look at me as just a just a YouTuber doing his job? You a YouTuber. You ain't you ain't in it you going off what you heard. You're going off what you heard. Nothing nothing that you nothing that you're saying is a fact unless I tell you it's a fact. Yeah. You feel me? I don't give a f what a motherfucker say. You can believe what you want to believe. If that person don't confirm it, it's not true. You feel me? Like, so. But the other argument is that the cops oftentimes seem like they're kind of following whatever the biggest cases are in the media. And if you put out a video that gets millions of views accusing me of these murders, then all yeah. of a sudden it makes it easy for the cop. We always assume that the cops know more than the YouTubers, but that's not necessarily always going to be true. They know from the YouTube. They definitely get information from you the YouTubers for like, sure, yeah. But like I said, that's that, that's why it was good for them to run into each other and sit down and have an understanding of what was going on, you feel me? Maybe Tay did feel the type of way, maybe he didn't. Hmm. But I know Tay, you feel me? Like, he a good, good hard nigga, you feel me? I know he ain't been no harm to do. He know if he, now if he was a nigga in Chicago on some, other weird shit, then it'd be different. This is a white man from, where you from, London? London yeah. where you feel me? Like, yeah. he's just going off some shit that other niggas saying. You feel me? That is in the air. How you be feeling when you be seeing yourself in his documentary? Bro, I don't, bro? I can't, that shit giving me anxiety, bro. I feel like, <laughs> God, bro, I be got to cut that shit off, bro. Like, cause I'm in like five of them bitches. I'm in Von shit, Duck shit, Tay shit. Somebody else shit. I'm like, I just know it's one coming, bro. Like, I'm cool, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't be like, I don't be like really <clears throat> looking at all that shit because I get in my feelings and shit, bro. You feel me? Like, and niggas be going into depth of certain shit. Like, certain shit be true. You feel me? Like, some shit be real. Some shit just be hearsay. You feel me? So, sometimes that shit be fucking with me. I can't even really watch that shit like that. When you actually talk to Trap Lil Ross, you realize that he does show more discretion than anybody really gives him credit for. Yeah. Because there was one video he made in which basically, like, somebody snitched and then somebody else involved was trashing them for, for snitching. Mm -hmm. And he had a conversation with one of the people involved and basically ended up not including that information yeah. because it just felt a little too ugly a little too yeah, personal yeah, yeah, in yeah. terms of just friends talking shit about each other and one of them's dead and it's crazy shit and i was like damn that that's definitely like there's a lot of interesting choices that he has you to make in like, putting together a four-hour documentary throw that shit right out just to try to get some clicks for sure. like, yeah they're gonna put that shit out so like i said yeah that was good for them to meet to see what what his intentions was where he was going you feel me mm. definitely sure. um did you feel so mama doug was pushing the line of saying that Duck's getting all this praise for putting those faces up during his concert, but that Duck put together 
Chicago legends years before he died. Dirk did it first. Didn't really get the level of attention that maybe Dirk is getting. Yeah, that's true though. And she ain't saying nothing wrong. Like she ain't on there saying Kim, none of that. She just said Duck did it first. Mm. You feel me? Like that's the truth. Duck did Chicago Legends. Everybody want to with it. Niggas laughed at my brother. You feel me? I ain't even gonna hold you. I I felt some type of way about that shit. But that was me younger back then. You feel me? Like everybody felt some type of way. It's not my guys. But you take that and you put that next to the fact that Dirk just got the key to the city, and when Doug died. Lori Lightfoot talked about him like he was just he a was, regular like, ass like gang we, member. Like we the f***ing super Scum villains. of the earth. Like we the villains of the f***ing city, you and feel then, me? And, like, and, and that's cool if you want to say that about gang members, whatever. But when you go and give Dirk the key to the city, that don't make this sense. seems a little strange, it right? It sounds very <laughs> hypocritical to me. And it don't make sense. And like like I said, uh, they paint the picture as folks to be more f***ing... The Joker, damn near, you feel me? Like, like he just this f-ing nigga terrorizing the whole f-ing city, you feel me? Like, yeah. they painted it like that, and then turned around and gave dude the key, but, and it come with what niggas do too, though, you feel me? But Duck didn't have an opportunity to get a chance to do that, you feel me? So we can't take that away from my brother. He didn't get a, he didn't get that father to go donate to shit. He didn't get that father to go open up centers for the city, you feel me? Mm. For sure, my boy, what? Very family-oriented, you feel me? A hundred percent. You feel me? Like, he's going to make sure, like, everybody's straight. Like, that's why he's in Chicago. Nigga ain't want to leave everybody. You think when Duck did Chicago Legends, it was genuine? Yeah, he it said was. It, he said it at first, but then when he dropped dead, bitches, he said. But that's why. Well, he said it was just about business. That, But, okay, you feel me? That that come back to what we said earlier. That shit rhymed, bro. That shit rhymed. It rhymed. He was genuine with that shit, bro. Y'all gotta remember, he was doing this shit with Bo Deal. Shout out Bo Deal. Everybody know Bo Deal. Was big G's, one of the big, the big heads of the city. You feel me? You can't. Everybody know Bo Deal. You come to Chicago, that's one of the niggas you want to get close to. You feel me? Good, good man. You feel me, bro? But if he had dropped Chicago Legends and the other side had been like, all right, that was respectful. We're good. We're not gonna disrespect your dudes or whatever. It ain't work like that. Yeah, like the, the disrespect kept going, and so literally. a couple of years later, he's right back, or not even a year later. It was probably. literally that's how I went. Like yeah. I, like I can say, like I just said, I can say I ain't on that. But just because I'm saying I ain't on that right now, oh, I ain't dropping no more diss songs. This and now one of them niggas, ritter, ritter, ritter. These niggas will put out a diss song tomorrow. Mm. You feel me? Like and that's why the J Main thing seems like a good development because it seems like even if somebody were to drop a crazy ass song dissing J Main, he's like, you know, I'm out of this shit. I'm, yeah, I'm I pushing peace. I, I, I diss J wanna... Main in both of my songs. You did. You was like, man, fuck J Main. I ain't pushing peace. <laughs> He's but an easy nah, target to say yeah, some shit like but, that, you know? But it ain't no diss, you feel me? They may yeah. know, like, you feel me? Like, I think I'm just saying, like, but, and it wasn't even, I don't know, bro. All this shit is, is new, bro. It's, it's, I don't know, bro. The shit, the shit's surreal, bro. It was people upset saying, like, they felt like some of their guys was left off the memorial. I mean, you can't put it, it you can't, you know, niggas gonna. That was shit it somebody was that, that you felt like was left off? Yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot of people left off yeah. of that. You feel me? A lot some of, people of some of Dirk's homies got left off yeah, too. People you feel were me? Upset but it won, I know it won intentionally. It was yeah. them trying to do some shit as quick as they could and get that shit up yeah, real no. quick. You feel me? Jay like, Main uh, was allegedly the one who put it all together, right? Yeah, yeah. he took credit. He, he said put that. The yeah, he said he put it together. You feel me? Put the collage together. So, yeah. It was good, you feel me? It was a lot of people. It was a lot of it was a lot of noticeable people on there. Like a lot of people on there. Mm. For sure. Like a lot of people on there is Chicago legends. Was Drake 100%. on there? No, nah, Drake wasn't on there, you feel me? But I'm not you see, I ain't just get on here and say, yeah, you ain't Oh, YJ Man ain't put my brother on there. I know it was uh, crunch time. They doing what they doing. They got all the rest of my brothers on there though, you feel me? Everybody else on there, you feel me? Like, I don't, I don't feel no type of way, you feel me, bro? But you think my- is gonna try to turn Jay Main into a pizza puff over that hundred thousand dollar chain? Uh, nah, ain't nobody gonna do that to him. Hell nah, <laughs> I ain't gonna touch him, man. Somebody hit me up today wanting to expose that that chain was not worth a hundred thousand dollars, which I find Uh-oh. shocking. I don't want anything to do with that sort of expose. Dun dun dun. That shit look like it's a hundred thousand. Shout out halfway to the jeweler, man. Y'all don't get scammed out y'all jewelry, man. Y'all know, um, it's this box. Not the little ass diamond touch of shit. It's a box, man. I'm putting y'all on free game. Y'all need to be paying me for this shit, man. It's a box. They put your shit in there and it read exactly what your diamonds are. Oh. 
is gonna tell you exactly what it is. This is this some rich nigga shit, man. This ain't that cheap shit. Y'all this is the next win. level of the diamond the, tester. The, now this is gonna tell you your quality, your gold, everything is if it's that. You feel me? Like you feel me? So when y'all go to y'all jewelers, don't y'all make sure y'all go to that box, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. Shout out Hefe the jeweler. Would you be saying tag your jeweler? Tag your fucking jeweler. Shout out Hefe for sure. Oh, um, folks, I don't know what's up. Damn. Um, shit. Okay, we talked about the J Main chain. I feel like that's damn. They said J Main shit was fake. That's crazy. That shit ain't. I, fake. I mean, fake is one thing. Not a hundred thousand dollars is another thing. Yeah. It could be my, not my fake. My man put a hundred on that bitch. He said he put a hundred. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it. He it's a hundred thousand. He put a hundred, nigga. That's a lot of cereal. That, hey, that no, you he should have got the diamond, the cereal. He would have snapped man. and he would have put the cereal, made the cereal his rings, twin. Ooh, he would have dumped, like made the cereal his rings. That would have been heat. Mm. You feel me? That bitch still heat though. He got yeah, one of the hardest chains yeah. out right yeah, now. Yeah, he just did that. I don't know if I want my community anti-violence activist to be wearing a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry. Yeah, you know. Got you can't be wearing that shit when you going to do um when you push your piece in old block, man. You yeah. Dumb. Yeah. So how's your uh, health right now? How's the walking going? Man, I'm almost back, man. You know, I got a limp on me, but I'm moving. You feel me? Grooving. You know, down I'm on wheelchair music. Nah, man. I got a lot of wheelchair music that's fire, though. Still in the cut. I think I'm just going to put it out like some leaks or some Are you shit. able to exercise or do you ever like, yeah. you're not like taking a walk around the block, I'm guessing? Nah, nah. F- no. I just yeah. left Hawaii. Yeah, I'm limping like, out yeah. there. And a saying, you feel me? You gotta get back. Uh, hard body don't feel nobody for sure. You, you, feel, you feel like everybody looks at you like, wow, look at this crazy ass gang member who's walking with a limp <laughs> because somebody probably. Everybody, <laughs> now nah, look. Everybody look at me. They just give me love. It's merch. I get so much love because I'm fed up. Like, mm. like, I don't know. It just attract love, bro. Like, everybody blessing and praying and all that over me, bro. And that shit, that shit cool. If I didn't me? know who you were and I'm in Hawaii and I see a motherfucker. You want to say walking like that, better, brother? The long ass hair, the jewelry, Bro, the tattoos. I would just be thinking, oh my god, I don't know what the f- he did to get into this position, but it was probably some crazy shit. Bro, you was sick as hell, bro. I mean, that's how I feel oh, when, you, when you when you see a hood day in L.A. and there's one guy in a wheelchair. You're like, Man, yeah. he's probably the craziest one. Yeah, he got some shit going on, mm-hmm. man. You know, but I'm almost back, man. You know, been in the gym trying to stay active. You feel me? Mm. Going on a press run, probably finna drop some music. What do you think you dropping like before the I, end of the year? Or? I, I want I wanted to do fucking October, bro, but I f- around to do it before the end of the year. Like I'm just wait, go on this press run for a minute, drop it while I'm doing this shit. Hmm. Yeah, awesome. so billionaire, my boy. Appreciate you coming on. You know that, my man Remo. Re, you know that, my dog for so sure. in the cut. Got G Wet with me, man. I don't know what's up, man. That way. We ain't no shit. Shout out no jumper. Shy Rack forever. No jumper. Coolest podcast. Go turn my man up on all streaming turn services. Me up, man. Go subscribe, man. Official billionaire black, man. Y'all know that. Like, comment, subscribe. We out. Hey, we out.